we got an unboxing presentation disassembly and reassembly and anodization in one video will this unboxing ever end but as for me i'm excited to open this box because this contains a knife of course it's not a recent release nor an exclusive whatever but it is something that i'm really interested with this was shipped by my friend who's got a, a store named fit express check that out especially if you're in the philippines he's got some interesting goods for sale and he ships his packages with a lot of care making sure that the goods arrive to the buyers without any damage so i got a couple of lynch deep care pocket clips here but the main thing is a box with the z and t letters on it so let's open the box and see what's inside this bubble wrap it looks familiar it is the zero tolerance 0460 the titanium version it is a sweet sleek and super sexy knife wow so the zt0460 i got two of them now the first one i got is this one in carbon fiber grip scales with um, s35vn blade steel this new guy is the full titanium grip scales with cpm 20 cv blade steel what i really love about this model is the blade shape it's very interesting it's some kind of a persian design an upswept blade profile a very slim this is designed by uh, Sinkovich. But this is not my first ZT. This was my first, the 0450. They are all very similar. This is also designed by Dmitry Sinkovich. I think yeah, this one came first and then they had a little modification in this one. He warped this thing and resulted into this design. So these are a few of the ZTs that has a slimmer, smaller profile. It's, it's nice that they have these models now that are uh, smaller for, for those guys who prefer smaller knives. So this one, I've uh, seen some reviews on this one. Um, they talk about um, how uncomfortable this grip would be this handle would be because it's small and um, it's kind of awkward looking but for guys like me who's got smaller hands i don't think we're, we're having any problem with this one because this can accommodate f my four fingers it's not the most comfortable maybe if we compare it to this one this one I think fits better. It's got a straighter handle. But then this is not so bad. Not not so bad. Hot spots. There's a little discomfort on this part here. Not a deal breaker to me. This is a very light knife. This got a black and some kind of bronze colored carbon fiber this one's got a 3.25 inch blade length which is about the sweet spot for my blade length preference as you know i like my blades to be within 2.5 to 3.5 inches in blade length so this is like 3.25 it's got the same blade length as that of the Benchmade Bugout. Almost identical in overall length. A little bit longer in blade length compared to the Spyderco Delica. 
but these knives are really really close in in terms of length parameters compared to other ZTs oh they are really really thin and slim this 0456 is not that long but it's like a tank it's so heavy yeah so what else can we say about this knife this is a really really pretty design from Sinkovich the action on this one superb this one's got a captured ball bearing washer so so the smoothness of action is to be expected flick it it's gonna fly away fast this one's got a not this is not a deep care pocket clip just the right side carry tip up no other options no option for left care left hand carry no option for tip down carry which i don't mind because i always carry my knife right hand carry tip up so how about this sharpness i haven't sharpened both of these yet let's try it yeah pretty sharp how about this one out of the box very sharp ZTs are always sharp no complaints there so ZT good job on this one new knife happy to unbox it and will be happy to use it and be contented with it no i'm gonna make it look this way so i'm gonna anodize it so we're gonna anodize the scales and to do that we gotta disassemble the knife first we're gonna need the right torx bit size six for the pocket clip and the scales going all through the back spacer one of the screws you're gonna need the flat head screwdriver to act as a leverage so that the screw will not twist when you turn the torx right now for the pivot screw you're gonna need the size 8 torx bit this is a pretty easy knife to disassemble so now the knife's gonna come off just be careful with those small parts it's gonna be a really difficult to find replacement if you lose one of them All right i put the small parts in a little tray so that they don't jump around what we're going to do today is we're gonna anodize this grip scales this came in just plain titanium and yeah, kind of boring so we're gonna need some 9 volts batteries we can have up to 10 a container where we will make our solution some alligator clips for batteries we got this stainless knife it will serve as a ground we need some baking soda which we will dissolve in distilled water okay let's pour the water in our container about a cup and a half about two teaspoons of baking soda we will dissolve it properly a little stirring will do and there now we're gonna clean these scales with the use of isopropyl alcohol let's remove the grease wipe them properly because any oils from our hand that's gonna go into the scales will give some imperfection when we anodize it now we put our stainless material into the solution 
and attach it to the negative terminal of the battery. You will see, yeah, I'm trying three batteries. I'm gonna try first the clip, the, the clip side. Mmm, it's reacting. Good. No color! So after several more tries, and the grip scales didn't change color, I realized that uh, I've switched the attachment from the positive to the negative. So after correcting it, I was able to produce some colors on the grip scales. I varied the number of batteries to give me different color results. The colors of anodization relies on the voltage which the material gets exposed to. So that means the number of batteries that you're gonna use in the process. Hey, come on. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the display side handle scales. I'm just gonna vary the number of batteries that I'm gonna use to produce uh, different color results. I'm gonna use a uh, dipping process and it produced these stripes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm making stripes here. Huh? Is it good enough? Or should I dip it some more? What do you say? I kinda like it. How would it look like if I put a blade on it? Stripe. So a little more dips, a little more variations in the number of batteries, with some trial and error. It even produced some shades of gold. So interesting result here, but of course I'm not contented. I'm gonna try another technique of uh, anodization is with the use of a sheet of paper I'm gonna attach the handle scales into the positive terminal of the battery I dip the paper into the solution of distilled water and uh, baking soda I reduce the number of batteries and I'm gonna use the negative clip to produce a marking something like that mm -hmm. just a random stroke random strokes for you know, nothing creative there how about that You gotta create more markings and uh, I varied the number of batteries to have a different shade of anodization. Just random, random strokes there. More strokes here and there. Just remember that those colors produced with high voltage will not have an effect if you use lower voltage on it, just like that gold shade there so check that out I don't know if it's good enough or whatever let's do the clip side let's attach the positive to the terminal and use this wet paper so just do some random strokes here swish 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 just check your progress violet I think this one looks better.
all these patterns that I've created are this cool or ugly <laughs> so here's the result of my anodization this is the display side this is the clip side I don't know which side turned out better looking this one's got some narrow patterns on it so I'm gonna assemble it assembly time let's try to do it fast because it's late in the night and I'm kinda sleepy here's my trusty frog glue paste and oil we're gonna need them to lubricate and improve the the already good action on this one a little dab of frog glue paste on the washers would keep it in place into the scales and the next to go is what oh the pivot pin it's gonna keep the washers and uh, the bearing in place you gotta lube the bearings first to ensure smoothness of action. We're gonna fit the knife, the blade, but put some lube first. There you go. Then the other bearing. All right. Make sure these little parts go in. The stop pin should go in also and then it's time to put on the display scale screw in those little torx screws mm. pesky little screws now it's time for the pivot screw you're gonna need the number eight torx bit Tighten it good, try the action, a little more tightening, there it is, now back to the pesky little screws, don't forget the flathead screw, check the action, and yeah, oops, don't forget the pocket clip, alright, secure it good there so there's your zero tolerance 0460 in titanium unboxed introduced disassembled anodized lubricated and reassembled and ready for action so that's it keep safe everyone till next time bye